hello guys today i'm going to show you how to download and install the vray 3.0.07 and uh, this is not uh, like uh, other version like uh, you may have downloaded some other stuff uh, uh, like uh, vray advance uh, or vray 3.10 like that but i know this uh, doesn't work me uh, even you follow all the instructions very well but uh, when you install and uh, install and you open your uh, 3d max and uh, assign render to vray and uh, try to do something like for example you open uh, vray material library then what you see you see the black uh, boxes like that or you may have not uh, you are not maybe able to render the uh, uh, 3d max uh, uh, with vray okay but uh, this version that i have personally used uh, uh very advanced 3.0.07 uh it is uh, work for me as well now i have deleted uninstalled from my uh 3d max and uh to show you guys uh, to show you guys uh how it works i have also given the link in my video details uh, from where you can download the video advanced 100 uh, percent working version so now let's start how to install or activate it okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you first i fall i open my 3d max 2015 to show you that uh, it, it, it doesn't not, not install yet okay wait see you guys uh, until my 3d max 2015 uh, load welcome back okay i have uh, opened successfully the 3d max 2015 version and now it's asking me to open any recent files which I was working on, but uh, I will show you guys on a blank screen. Okay, now we go to uh, render setup to see if uh, what kind of uh, rendering system is uh, assigned. We go on the co common tab. Uh, sorry, you can uh, press F10 or go to here uh, to render setup. Okay, on the common tab you will see assign render. You have to go down. Now here is uh, my default scanline render is uh, my uh, default uh, rendering engine. I'm going to click on that box to see. I have uh, you can see that uh, I have no video installed right now. So I'm going to cancel it and close my 3D uh, Max 2015. And now I'm going to. Uh, begin uh, the installation of VRA at once. Okay, here I have downloaded already downloaded through the through. Okay, now I'm going to install it. And uh, as you see, it's a 64 uh, bit version uh, VRA advanced. So you definitely have to install the 64 version of Windows. Uh, working with like about uh, Windows 8 or Windows 7, whatever you have. Okay, how to install it? First of all, you're going to open this as administrator or run by like that. It will ask you uh, should I run it as in administrator. So I recommend you to open it as run by administrator permission. Okay, yes, I'm going to install it. Okay, it's going to load now. Okay. Here we have uh, for 3D Max 2015 for 64 version 3.0.07. Okay, and here are some screens. I disagree or agree. I'm going to install, so I'm going to click on I agree. So here you have nothing to be changed. Just let it that let that uh, uh, radio button on uh, workstation. Okay, uh, just make sure that it is checked. Just let it uh, on workstation. Don't need to be customized. I need to install now. Okay, it is saying the installer has detected that the following application are running. Please close this application. So maybe 3D Max uh, some uh, component are still working. So I need to shut them down. I'm going to Task Manager to do this operation performance. Sorry, process. Mm, here is running and task it. Okay, now good to go. Okay, now let's try again. Okay, it's installing, it started our installation. Okay, let's wait until the installation is complete. Uh, 
Okay, here it's uh, giving us the options to like open the readme file or open the um, wizard support side like that. Don't uh, need to click, uh, uh, just uncheck all the boxes. So we don't, uh, so it doesn't take us to there. We need to then click on finish. Okay, the website open, just ignore it. Okay now the it has already installed but not registered yet so what we are going to do here i have the crap uh, of this very advanced uh, 3.0.07 version what i'm going to do go to crack okay here i found the two files okay one is called uh, what is name like uh, cg auth dot dll and the second one is vray 2015 dot dll how to uh, going to inst uh, use this crack uh, to make my VRAS uh, work smoothly so what I'm going to do I'm going to select these two files and uh, I'm going to control C copy them select these two files and copy them okay and uh, go where the uh, go to the directory of your 3 max version uh, installed so uh, since I'm using the 3 max 2015 I was I'm going, I forgot about to tell you that this uh, version of VRA that I'm given you to download is work uh, on uh, 3 Max 2015 and 64-bit of version of a window. Okay, so here I go see Autodex. So here I go where the way uh, 3 Max is installed. I go to see program files, Autodesk, then 3 Max 2015. Okay, I have to open it again. 3 Max 2015. Okay, here I have. Here I need to paste the two file I just selected. Asking you to replace the files in the destination. I said yes. Replace it. Do this for all current items. Continue. Okay, wait. Okay, as you see, these files have been successfully. Copy one is this VRA 2015 and then other is CG auth dot DLL. Okay, here we're done. The next thing you're going to do is go back to the crack folder of VRA and just copy the CG auth. Just copy the single file of name CG auth dot DLL. Copy it. Now go back to see where the where you where you install the uh, VRA. C go to program files and here you will see the Charles group. Okay, you have to open, find that folder Charles group. Open it, go to VRA, then you have to go to RT for 3D Max 2015 for 64 version. You have to open that folder and then go to bin. Here we need to paste that uh, file cgauth.dll. Okay, I'm going to paste it. Yes, we place the file, the destination. Okay, continue. Okay, so here we're done. There's nothing left to do, only have to check that it is installed properly and works smoothly. So, I'm going to back to the 3D Max 2015 and uh, going to open it. Okay, I don't think that this time, this time, this will take much time because already on the RAM. I can just wait. Okay, guys, here I have a um, uh, my 30 max to the 15 has loaded, and I am going to show you uh, that uh, does it really installed and does it really works now going to render setup a again uh, click on that uh, button or just uh, press f10 so i'm here go down on the common tab okay go down and click on the render okay here is already this has selected vray uh, advanced 3.0.07 okay i'm now going to show make sure just to open that uh, box 
Okay, here I have selected, I could select the video rate RT 3.0.07, but I have already uh, selected the video advance. Okay, so I think now we are good to go to use the video rate. Here are some settings, other settings like GI setting, render, and video. You can see all the settings now, it's worked perfectly. Now I'm going to render it so you guys know does it really works or not. Again, I'm going to make some t boards okay i have a okay just simply going to press render production so here you can see that it is rendering uh, smoothly so it depends on your setting like that that's uh, the matter okay but what happened uh, mostly version uh, your you download from internet that uh, it doesn't even start render because of all because of the uh, crack uh, or all because of the sense problems it uh, gives the um, uh, it doesn't uh, render uh, it doesn't uh, like uh, it gives you black boxes in uh, video material uh, libraries but this version I have installed and showed you that it this uh, uh, this uh, render smoothly and even if you go to V-Ray materials like I show you the uh, okay so we have successfully installed and uh, let's send our V-Ray uh, 3.0.07 and uh, now it's ready to use however you like you uh, I hope you guys enjoy my video and uh, please like my video subscribe to my channel and to for most upcoming stuff uh, for up for more upcoming free stuff okay and uh, thanks for watching see you guys in other uh, videos